It is very early and the sun definitely still hasn't risen all the way yet, but I wanted to quickly check in before I hit the road because I'm heading to the Australian Sheep and Wool Show today out in Bendigo. I'm going to go pick up my friend Meg who's coming with me. I have been waiting all year for this show to come around. I'm so, so excited. I've never been before, so this is my first time and I'm really, really excited. I know a couple of other uh, knitting people that I watch on YouTube are going as well. So I'm hopefully going to see some familiar faces out and about, which would be really nice. But I'm just excited to go look at all the yarn and all the sheep and also the cattle as well. I want to see some cows um, and just learn more about the industry and more about where all my yarn comes from, which is really exciting. I do have a pretty strict budget for this weekend, so I'm not going to be buying tons of yarn, but I think that's perfectly okay. I'm hoping to collect loads of business cards and check out heaps of yarns that I may want to use uh, to make sweaters and things like that in the future. I'm hoping to start leaning more into Australian made wool uh, and 100% wool as I go forward with more of my knitting. I'm finding Spotlight is very limited in what's available, uh, especially most of the yarns contain acrylic content. So I really want to start leaning into more Australian 100% wools. And I think this weekend it's going to be a great time to explore some of those. I am taking some knitting with me, of course. I am taking my book club cardigan, which you guys will see eventually. It's currently in my suitcase. I'm knitting that as part of a knit along and the deadline is August 10th. So I really don't have long left to work on it, but I am taking a smaller project with me to work on whilst I'm at the show. And if you follow me on Instagram, you will have already seen lots to do with these socks. Uh, these are my Petal Drop Socks by Handmade by Florence. I'm knitting these up using Rosarius for uh, Maya yarn. Um, I think that's the name of the colorway as well as the type of yarn. It is... Do, do, do. Mm. What is your, it's a 70% merino and 30% polyamide blend and it's just this beautiful speckled yarn. I'll see if I can include some pictures as well because I know the lighting isn't great this morning. But yeah, Rosario's for Maya and they're coming out beautifully. This is the first time I've ever used any kind of fingering weight yarn for socks and it's the first time that I've ever knit with small circulars and it's the first time I've ever knit a lace sock. So this is my sock of firsts. And it's just coming out beautifully. This first part of the sock knit up so fast. I did all of this in a day, which really surprised me. Uh, I really thought this was going to go a lot slower, especially getting used to the short circulars. Like my fingers and my hands were so confused. I had to retrain my brain, but I think I've got the hang of it. Uh, and I'm currently now doing the uh, gusset decreases. So I'm hoping to finish the gusset decreases this weekend. Uh, whilst I'm in Bendigo. So yeah, that's my little travel project, but I'm also taking my book club cardigan to work on uh, when we're in the motel. We're just staying uh, about half an hour outside of Bendigo. Plan for today, I'm gonna go pick up Meg and then we're going to road trip out to Bendigo and we're gonna actually stop at a few places along the way. If you are new here, hi, my name's Hayley. Uh, I do monthly podcasts on this channel talking about all my knitting and crochet and sewing and other crafting things. So if those podcasts or even these vlogs interest you at all feel free to subscribe and leave a comment as well let me know if you went to the show and let me know what you're working on whilst watching this video as well i will catch up with you later this afternoon in bendigo <laughs>
the show. We've been here for, how long have we been here for now? Like two and a bit hours, I think. Like, yeah, yeah. We got here maybe 1.30, so about two hours. And we've done the Osborne Pavilion, which has a lot of the yarn dyers and yarn shops in it. And then what was the other pavilion we did? We did the one next door to that, and that had a lot of like the wool fashion wear kind of stuff with a couple other yarn stores in there as well, which was nice. Um, we also went into like the uh, technology and innovation center where they were doing all the um, sheep and ram like judging and their sales as well, which was really cool. Um, I'm not sure what we're gonna do now. We've had coffee. We had lunch in Castlemaine, which we, you would have seen. I think we're just gonna kind of wander around for a little bit longer and then we might head into town and check out some stuff in Bendigo. We also need to get some groceries before we go to the motel. So that's kind of the plan. for day one. I think we had a nice time. Today was not a buying day. Today was very much a looking day. We wanted to look around and see what was on offer before making and committing to any purchases. But we're gonna head into town now and get some groceries before heading to the motel and getting cozy, doing a little bit of knitting, hopefully, having some dinner and just relaxing is the plan. It's the plan.
so we are actually done at the show for day two. It's about 1 p.m. now, um, and we're calling it a day. I did buy some yarn, which I will take you guys through, I think, when I get back home on Sunday. We ended up seeing uh, Kath from the Mindful Melbourne Maker and also Ali from Fiberbound, which was awesome. It was so nice seeing them. We've been trying to catch up with them all weekend, so I'm still a little bit starstruck, uh, but I'll put a picture in so you guys can see us meeting up. We're actually going to head to the Bendigo Woolen Mills, get a coffee and check out what they have up there. Hello everyone. I thought I would do a quick little recap of day one and two. I've already dropped a stitch, so I should probably just put my knitting down. We are back at the motel now. We went into town for a little bit. Uh, we went to Bendigo Woolen Mills, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, but then we just decided to come back to the motel because it's still raining. The rain was supposed to stop today, but it hasn't. So we've come back to the motel. We're going to pop on a movie and have some tea, have some late lunch and just get cozy and do some knitting. First, I'm going to update you on my petal drop socks because uh, I worked on those this morning and I have one more decrease round to do before the dust, before the gusset decreases are done. Uh, and it's looking good, but I realized I'm actually, I've been knitting the pattern wrong where I'm supposed to be doing a slip slip knit in the pattern I've been doing a knit two together so I've just been doing knit two togethers for all of the decreases on the lace work um so <laughs> I don't think you can tell I can't really tell so I don't think it's going to make a huge difference to the final look of the sock um and it's my first time doing lace work socks so I'm being nice to myself but I'm loving how this is coming out uh I love how this yarn looks uh, knit up in stock in it I think it really shows off the yarn and I'm glad that I have a stockinette portion to show the yarn off in so I was going to work on that whilst showing you some of these things but I think I'm just going to get distracted uh yesterday was mainly a looking day at the show we were there for a couple of hours in the afternoon and we didn't really buy anything yesterday because we mainly wanted to just see what was on offer and see what was available yesterday we only went into the Osborne and I think it's the Noble Pavilions which are the first two when you walk in. And so we had a look at those and that was kind of all of the yarn that we looked at yesterday. And I thought that was all the yarn that was kind of available. I thought maybe there was one more pavilion where it was mixed in, but there was so much more yarn to look at today. So I know a lot of the vlog footage from yesterday was just yarn. Today was the same, I'm sure. I mixed in with some other stuff as well, but there was lots to look at. So I've taken lots of pictures of the yarn that I wanna buy. And I think tomorrow I'm gonna buy one spe special skein of sock yarn from the show to take home with me. But I do have some things to show you that were bought today. So first thing I'll show you, sorry for all the noise. We went to Mavis Handmaid's stall a lot, a lot, a lot. And I got two of my friends some needle stoppers. Uh, these are for my friends who have started knitting and they wanted some needle stoppers. We're looking for some on Amazon, but couldn't find cute ones. So I got them these and they're really happy with those. And then my friend Meg, who's with me here, she also bought some stuff from Mavis. So I'm going to show you guys the stuff that she bought as well from some of the other stalls, just because I didn't buy a lot. So, and she got some pretty cool stuff. So from Mavis, she got these uh, citrine stitch markers. She had some rose quartz and some amethyst ones. Uh, but she's also got these, I think there's citrine, there's aquamarine, and I think there's one more crystal that's done in these sort of circular beaded stitch markers so she got those and then ah, here's the aquamarine ones she got these i think these are for her mum one of them i think are for her for her mum uh but they're really beautiful so that's what we got from mavis then we walked around to some of the other stalls and this is from tea time yarn retreats you can see their card there uh and they're these beautiful bee and honeycomb stitch markers my friend Meg loves bees and honey so she got these and these are very very suitable for her and her personality and then white rabbit handmade we also had a look at uh we saw them also at the knit and crochet guild market 
So I'd seen some of their stuff before, but Meg bought quite a few things from there. She got these rainy day stitch markers, which are really cute. Comes with the Cloud Progress Keeper there. And then also these little blue love hearts, which were really cute. And then for her and her mum, she got some goat needle stoppers from White Rabbit, which are just the cutest. And I think I may need to order some of these online because aren't they just adorable? I love them. So those are all the stitch markers and progress keepers and needle stoppers that were purchased by us this weekend. Um, what will I show you next? Let's stay on theme with things that were bought at the show. I was looking for some self-striping sock yarn this weekend. I couldn't really find anybody who was selling a self-striping sock yarn, but I saw that one of the stalls, can't remember which one it was, I'll put a picture here somewhere, was selling self-striping yarn and also the um, self, I guess, fair isle pattern yarns from Fiddlesticks. This is the Fair Isle one that Fiddlesticks does called Jester. Uh, and I'll put a picture here because you can't really see on the label of what the sock is supposed to look like. And so I got myself two balls of that to hopefully make some Fair Isle socks with. Uh, this is what I've been looking for this weekend. And they're only $10 a ball. So $20 for a pair of socks, I think is pretty decent. So I'm really happy with that purchase. And then the last thing I did at the show today was get my yarn store passport this is organized by dear prue she set up this like self-guided yarn store hopping thing with this yarn passport at the show and basically you go to all of the stores listed on her instagram as part of the uh passport and get all of their stamps and stickers so i did that today so Bombed Yarns had a massive stamp for me, which I loved. And I was hoping to get stamps from everywhere, but some of them only do stickers. So Fancy Yarns and Le I think it's Leakham or Leachum will only do stickers. Uh, and then obviously Fluff and Nonsense and Tandy as well. I have one more stamp to get to complete my passport and go in the entry for uh, the competition um, that she's running with this. But there are heaps and heaps of pages in here. So I'm hoping that I can collect stickers and labels from all the different yarn stores that I visit throughout my time as a knitter and collect them in here. There's also some cute little activities and reflection pages in the front, which I think is really sweet. So thank you, dear Prue, for setting this up. And thank you to um, Great Southern Yarn who mentioned it to me for the first time um, so I could get my passport. So that was everything from the show. After the show, we end up going to Bendigo Woolen Mills and I got a little bit of stuff. <laughs> I didn't get a lot because Bendigo is really not that far from where I live. It's about an hour and a half-ish. Uh, and I have their shade card, and so I'm thinking if I want to knit up a sweater with their yarn, I can just look at it online and then go buy it from the mill some other time. So I wasn't looking to buy a sweater's quantity today, uh, but I saw they had their five-ply 100% wool on sale uh, for $10 a ball. Um, this is just their five-ply. They come in 200-gram balls, and this is the colorway Driftwood Mix, and it's this beautiful like muted brown color literally looks like the color of driftwood and i loved it so i got two of those so 400 grams i'm not sure what i'm going to make with it uh, they recommend a 3.75 millimeter needle i could probably get away with a four maybe even a 4.5 to make a, a looser gauge i'm going to swatch with this when i get home and see what i can knit up with it but yeah i got two of those and of course i got myself a bendigo woolen mills bag because you just have to Meg also did some shopping. So her mum is a knitter as well and wanted some yarn to make a vest. So Meg got her the, uh, I think this is the classic or something. Yeah, classic eight ply in the colorway straw. And I think she got three balls of this. Um, and again, these are 200 gram balls, which I really like that they do 200 grams. I think that's just so much nicer and I think a lot more affordable than 100 gram skeins or balls that you see. So she got three of those. And then she also got, I think these two are the same, yeah, the four ply sock yarn, which is 75% wool, 25% nylon. She got two of those to make socks. Um, this one's the colorway wheat and this one is mousse. Um, so she's gonna make socks with these. She's never made fingering weight socks before. So she's gonna give it a go with these two yarns. And then the last thing I have to show you 
is also something that Meg bought. These are by Claire Keaton, and these are their brushed brush strokes hand dyed five ply skeins. And she got two of these to make some socks with. Uh, and they're these insanely cool speckled yarns. I think they're just beautiful. I think these are, it's hard to know. I don't know the differences between the plies and the yarn sizes. You know, what's the difference between a four ply and a fingering or a five ply and a sport? Are they the same? I don't know. <laughs> um, still something I need to learn, but these are 50% nylon, 50% acrylic. So she's going to make up some socks with those as well. Oh, and she also got some needles. She got some Bendigo Woolen Mills, I think 2.5, 2.5 millimeter needles in 80 centimeters. She's going to try knitting socks on Magic Loop for the first time. So those are all the purchases. <laughs> as I said, I have mainly been looking this weekend. Tomorrow I'm going to get myself a special skein of sock yarn from the show. But tonight we're just going to relax. We're going to look through our purchases. Um, I'm going to look through all of the photos and videos I've taken and see what I can share on Instagram for today. And then we're just going to get cozy. We're going to relax and do some knitting. That's kind of the plan. I will probably catch up with you maybe a little bit later. Otherwise, tomorrow morning. morning everyone it is day three the final day at the bendigo sheep and wool show for 2024 we've got our coffee we've got coffee in town and we've got a couple of things to do this morning meg wants to get a passport and i have one more stamp to get in my yarn store passport today so we're gonna do that we want to have a look at some of the rams they're all getting sold today so we're gonna check all of that out and just see coming kind of some of the last few things that we want to see before heading off it's a bit bittersweet you know we've had such a good time and we kind of don't want it to end and then after we're done at the show we're going to be heading off uh down to wood end to alice in fabric land and that's going to be our last trip our last stop i guess for the whole trip and then we'll be making our way home um i don't think i'm going to talk much today i think i'm going to show you some of the last few bits of what we do and then i think I'll regroup again once I'm home later this afternoon. But thank you for joining us this weekend. It's been so, so nice. I hope you've liked it. Again, if you're at the show, please comment down below and let me know. Let me know if you saw yourself in any of these videos. And um, I'll catch up with you later this afternoon. That is it for day three at the sheep show. We've been here for about two hours, so we did make some purchases, which I will show you when I get home tonight, but it's very, very foggy. It's very, very cold. So we're gonna start the trip back down towards Melbourne. We're gonna stop by Wood End to go to Alice in Fabric Land and just check out what they've got there. And then it'll be home time. So it's a bit sad to be leaving the show. We've had so much fun and I'm already really excited for next year. So yeah, let's go.
so we've driven out to Woodend and turns out uh, there's actually no brick and mortar shop for Alex and Fabricland anymore. I think she's currently trying to find a storefront. I think the one in Kyneton got flooded a couple of times, so she shut that one down. And then we thought there was a new address on the website in Wooden, so we've come out to that address, but it's just some house somewhere. So we're gonna go to the bakery and then we're gonna go home. I am finally home after the sheep and wool show for 2024. I got back maybe about an hour ago and I've just unpacked my suitcase and all my things and I'm finally sitting down to sign off this vlog for you. I had the most wonderful time this weekend. It was my first ever show and I feel so grateful that I was able to attend and grateful that I get to share my hobbies with all the other knitters and crocheters and crafty people in this community. It's one thing seeing everybody enjoying these hobbies on social media, but to see it celebrated in person at such a big event like this and being able to speak to people in person about all the things that we love about this craft is just such an honor and a privilege and it's so, so exciting. So I'm really happy that I went this year and I really can't wait for next year's show. This morning was a lot quieter than the last two days. It was really foggy and really cold. And we actually got to the show first thing this morning. So there weren't many people at all. Uh, I did make a Yarny purchase. You would have seen over the first two days, I didn't really buy, I guess, much in the way of the hand dyed yarns and the special yarns. And I was hanging out to find a special skein of yarn to take home and I found one. And I'm really happy that it was a lot quieter today so that I could browse the yarn stalls a bit easier and talk to the yarn dyers and the yarn shop owners a little bit easier without feeling so overwhelmed by all the people. The skein that I got was from Fluff and Nonsense. So my friend Meg, who I went with, ended up buying a yarn passport herself and we returned to Fluff and Nonsense to get her stamp. And they really didn't have much left in the way of their hand dyed sock yarns. And so I was just browsing through the boxes and I saw this colorway, this is Oyster, and just fell in love. I think you can see some of it down there as well. Just beautiful purples, pinks, and grays. It really gives me Oyster vibes. Uh, this one is 75% Superwash Blue Face Leicester and 25% Nylon. Just a 100 gram skein, uh, 425 meters in the 100 grams and yeah i'm so so grateful that i was able to find a really special skein to take home and knit up uh my first pair of bendigo socks and i also added to my collection of business cards so these are all from this weekend and i am going to stick these in my yarn passport with all the information about each yarn store uh, so that when i'm looking through my pictures if i see something that i really like uh, that I took a picture of, I can just go straight to the yarn store where it's from, go straight to their socials and their websites and be able to buy it online. So those are going straight in my yarn passport. And the last thing I want to touch on is the progress that I made on my knitting this weekend. I really actually didn't have a lot of time to knit, <laughs> which kind of surprised me, but also didn't at the same time. It was a very, very busy weekend, unsurprisingly. And so I didn't actually touch my book club cardigan at all. So if you want to see that, go to my previous podcast episode. I think it's podcast number seven, I believe. And that has all the details about my book club cardigan or on my Instagram as well. I've been posting some pictures and videos and things over there. So feel free to go check that out. But I did work on my sock and my goal for the weekend was to finish the gusset decreases. And I did just that. And I have started on the foot portion of the sock. And I'm loving how this is coming out. I've dropped some stitches here and there. As I said, I was doing the uh, lace pattern. I was doing knit two togethers instead of slip slip knit. So it isn't really noticeable, but it looks better now that I'm doing the stitch pattern properly. I'm really, really happy with how this sock is turning out. And I think I'm just going to slowly make my way through the foot portion of this sock. I'm not in a rush to get this done. This was really just an experiment and an experience for me to try something new. I also wanted something just portable for uh, the show. And yeah, loving it. Alrighty, I have nothing else to show you and nothing else to share. 
Thank you so, so much to all of you for joining me this weekend, whether that was on Instagram or meeting in person and saying hi or following this vlog. As always, comment down below what you're working on whilst watching this video and let me know as well if you went to the show and what your favorite part of the show was. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Also check out my Instagram as well. I've been really active over there this past weekend. You can see more pictures and clips and videos uh, from the weekend over there. It's just Haley's Space on Instagram as well. Really easy to find. Everything's always linked down below as well. I hope you are safe and well wherever you are and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.